Here we are in the chapter one and two summary review exercises, numbers one through six. Number one, it says to estimate the product. Now remember what that means. We're going to round to the greatest value that's that's listed and then we'll do the easy problem. So here we're going to be rounding here. So we look at that five. It makes it it's five or more. So that's going to go up to three. Uh, what is that? Three million times and now we're going to look at that one. The nine makes that go up to a six. So three million times 60 is really what we're the easy problem that we're going to do, which is three times six is 18. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I like that. OK, 180 million. That's going to be our estimate. Good. All right. Next one. Number two. Point zero zero. Uh, that guy will make that one. That's where we're rounding. 0 0.006 times 0 0.0. Uh, we're rounding right there. So the 8 will make that go, go up to an 8. So 0 0.006 times 0 0.08. Let me see. 6 times 8 is 48. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits behind the decimal. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we should note that on this, we didn't actually count up the zeros and say we got three zeros. It turned out to be that, but it wasn't actually. That's not the reason. It's because this is in the third place. That's in the second place. And together, that's the fifth place behind the decimal. All right. Number three. Uh, 3.847. That's four times 2,564. That's 3,000. So it's four times 3,000. The four times three is 12 and three zeros. Oh my goodness, every single one of these roundings was a rounding up. There's a the 5 and the 9 and the 6 and the 8 and the 8 and the 5. All That was surprising. Okay, here we go. Number 4. The instructions change and it says to add now. So let's line up the decimal out here. 3, well, three 6, 8, 4, 1 plus uh, 249. Uh, point 0.7. Now the decimals are lined up. 0 plus 7 is 7. 1 plus 9 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9. 8 plus 2 is 10. Put the 0 down there. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. And 3. Yeah, so 3, 30, 37, oh, the decimal comes straight down. 37,090.7. Great. Uh, next one, number five. The decimals are already lined up. Three plus seven is zero. Carry the one. One plus three is four. Plus nine is 13. Decimal is going to come straight down. Carry the one. One plus two is three. Plus three is six. And seven plus zero. 763.0. So that's just 763. Great. And the last one, number six. 16 and 9 fourteenths plus 5 and 13 fourteenths. Let's go ahead and put this down here. 13 fourteenths like that with a plus sign. 9 plus 13, that's 22 fourteenths. Now that means we can carry. Now remember we carry by taking 14 of those fourteenths and we're going to carry the one right up here. But how many does that leave us? If we took 14 away, that means we have 8 left. So we have 8 fourteenths left here. Okay, that guy's gone now. So 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 5 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 22 and 8 fourteenths. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 8 fourteenths can simplify. We can divide by 2 and divide by 2. And so we get... 22 and 4 sevenths. Yeah, we can simplify that 8 fourteenths right there. Excellent.